Good morning and welcome back to 1834 Restoration House. We are standing today on the front porch of this beautiful southern mansion that was built in 1850. This house is huge, it's old, and it's unrestored. So we're going to go inside and take a look at it and get some shots and see what we find. This is the main entryway hall, and uh, the ceilings here appear to be about 12 feet high. Now, the neat thing about this is that the original plaster is in place, and it looks to me like there may be some old paint on top of that, uh, which apparently was covered over with wallpaper. That's been removed. Uh, you can see some darkness on there, and that appears to be some discoloration, possibly caused by, by mildew, probably. Uh, that should clean up with bleach. The ceiling appears to be made of wood and the paint is old and cracked and uh, peeling off. So the plaster of this room appears to be in really good shape. Uh, you can tell where somebody has scraped off the wallpaper. Uh, but down here, some of the plaster has failed. I don't know why it did that. There's also a hole in the floor over here that will need to be replaced, or I should say filled, patched, repaired. How about repaired? Repaired. Okay. Repaired is the proper term. Over here there's some kind of structural damage, and uh, looks like it's been patched a few times over the years, so that will require some attention. Look at the, the grand old fireplace here. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Ductwork. Ductwork. Okay. Yeah. Pretty well disguised ductwork. They've done a good job. They wallpaper their well with ductwork. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know what it was until I touched it. I think there was a fireplace here. I would expect so. Yeah, you can see where the, the crack is. There, there was a square shape there. Yeah. And over here we've got plaster, cracks. Yeah, but it's just plaster. And again, it's because of the porch falling. So we've had to right. brace the outside porch out there. Yeah, yeah. But look at these windows, old original windows. Mm -hmm. Six over six. And uh, transom windows above. That is fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Yeah, it's the ceilings coming. We'll have to figure out why upstairs. Yeah. There may have been a lot of leak. Now, what? This room was originally the kitchen back in the old days, and it suffered greatly. Uh, it does have some problems uh, with water intrusion. If you look down to the floor, you can see that. Uh, the ceiling boards have buckled. Uh, there is some masonry work to do, uh, and definitely need to uh, rebuild this wall over here. That wall is uh, pretty much rotted out, but that's not a big deal. This interesting thing over here, this was a dumbwaiter, still is a dumbwaiter, and it does work. So you can take food upstairs and downstairs or whatever else you might want to put there. Here's the electrical panel. I'd like to show you a couple things that are just laying around here. We've got some old screen doors. There's plenty of work to do down here. The ceiling needs to be replaced. 
Um, the wall has some issues, <laughs> obviously. All right, this is the original dining room. Now, how often do you find a dining room that's still in original condition like this? I mean, look at that. We've got the cabinet over here. It still has stuff in it. Um, the floor, the walls, all of it's derelict. But can you visualize if this room is restored? This is an old 1950s era furnace and all of its ductwork. Back up there in the darkness is the water heater. And those look like furnace controls there. This one wall here has drywall as well as the ceiling does. It would be nice to restore that back to plaster. Hi, hello. Hello. There is some ceiling damage up here. I'm not sure what's going on because there's no lath. It looks like drywall. Up there. Even over there you can see. It looks like drywall. Yeah, it could very well be. So that would need fixing. Question is, is there still any water coming down from above or or is that just old? Here's an interesting room back here. Um, we've got some great built-in cabinets. Um, plaster damage on the ceiling. This is the other end of the dumbwaiter. That goes to the basement. It looks like the roof needs to be kind of retied there. Uh, this room here, uh, it could potentially be a kitchen. Um, right now it looks like it's being used as a workshop. Look at all of these frames and stuff. Well, uh, somebody had some woodworking going on in here. Oh, uh, yeah, this is definitely a wood shop. That's incredible. Yeah. It's too small to be a wood shop for us though. I think we need a bigger room. Um, now, there is running water in here, so this could potentially be a temporary kitchen. Um, you got a piece of sheetrock above your head there that's dangling. Yeah. Yeah, just like that. So don't stand under that for too long. We're going to go check the stair here. These are 12 foot high ceilings, so the stairs are much taller than what you normally experience. This is one of the upstairs bedrooms. And uh, it appears that the fire apparatus is in good shape still. All of the rooms are heated with forced air. So one thing we're seeing uh, consistently here is uh, we're seeing plaster damage where it's cracked. But the majority of it seems to be in good shape except for um, there's a little bit of mildew here and there. But it looks like it's a good candidate for repair. Here we have some beautiful planked pine floors. They appear to be about six inches wide. And this is another one of the upstairs bedrooms. Uh, there's a the fireplace. Whatever apparatus was there is now gone. Uh, the ceiling looks like it may have gotten a little moisture into it at some point. But again, we have high ceilings. 10 or 12 feet, I'm not exactly sure. Looks like 12. 12? It's pretty high up there. And somebody's attempted to pass the plaster right there. Yeah. Look at these nails in here. Square. Are they square nails? Yes. Oh, look at that. Hang up the picture. It's been in there a long time. The floor feels really solid 
everywhere we go, it has felt really solid. Yeah, I like that. The stairs were a little iffy, but... <laughs> were they kind of uh, squishy or something? I didn't notice. No, they're just uh, irregular. Okay. Yeah, definitely some uh, plaster work here under the windows. It looks like water may have gotten in there. Yeah. Um, let's go look across the hall. Stop at the bathroom. Sorry about that, guys. So here's a bathroom. Um, I mean, what do you say? It's uh, <laughs> it's old and uh, the floor is probably shot. And there's some kind of an attic space up there. That's interesting. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can see anything up there. Let's have a look. Well, I see roofing. <laughs> All right. Well, that's good. Here's another room. This is a, what is it, a four bedroom upstairs? Yes. Is that what we have here? Yes. Wow. What is that, a picture reel? I don't know what, that's, that's a, a mess. Huh. It's all the way across the... It looks like it's made of metal. Um, I wonder if... I think it's piping. Yeah, it could be piping. Oh, it could be piping for the bathroom, for the bathroom yes. I think you're right, let's have a look. some window panes that need to be replaced here and there. Um, it's just a lot of definitely some, some water intrusion issues that need to be corrected. Uh, let's, let's go through this door here. It goes back to that other room. Okay, so we're back in this bedroom here. Okay, now I want to show you something that's really cool. If you'll lead the way, Let's go see something really cool. Watch your step. This railing is impressive. Yeah. It needs cleaning up, of course. Yeah, second floor veranda. Complete with shutters. Transom windows. And uh, there's going to be a good amount of up there, uh, oh, yeah. placing the ceiling doors. Uh, look at that light fixture, it's just yeah. absolutely fabulous. Porch columns, and the iron railing is just exquisite. All of it needs to be de painted, de rusted, and uh, painted again. Look at those dentals on the door. Fabulous. Fabulous. Hi, welcome back to 1834 Restoration House. You've told us that you want to come along on the journey as we find our next Restoration House. And we've showed you a few already. They were kind of small. Some of them were in bad shape. But you've told us what you really want us to see is a grand old house, much like what we came from. And so we found that grand old house and we just shared that with you. The cons. The one hour commute. That's a hard one. The kitchen is non-existent, same as the laundry room, non-existent. The uh, bathrooms, both floors need redone. And the furnace, the furnace does not work 
at all, they said. So we'll have to do that too. Those are some of the cons. Those are some of the bigger things. What about the pros? Well, the pros are it's in a great neighborhood. Uh, there's a lot of homes around it that are old and classy. Um, it's completely unrestored. Nobody has gone in there and, and you know taken out all the, the woodwork and covered things up with sheetrock and painted everything gray. Uh, although there is a little bit of sheetrock in there, that's because of damaged plaster at some point. Uh, it has great bones. Uh, the floors, they feel rock solid when you walk on them. The plaster feels rock solid. In spite of the few cracks that it has here and there, those need to be repaired, but uh, the, the plaster seems to be really well adhered in most places. It's a classic Southern mansion. I mean, what's not to like about a classic Southern mansion? <laughs> so, um, missing the, kitchen? Yeah, missing <laughs> kitchen. Oh, okay. Um, the town, the town itself that, that's in, which we're not going to mention, uh, but it's a, it's a really lovely town. And as I mentioned, it has other classic homes in it. It has a nice downtown area and it's very walkable and the folks there are very friendly. Uh, it has a 12 foot high ceiling. Seriously. First floor and second floor. What's not to like about a 12 foot high ceiling? It is pretty impressive. Yeah. And you really feel it when you're going up the stairs because you just climb <laughs> and climb and climb and climb. You have to go all the way up to the 12 foot height. It's definitely doable. It would take a long time because there's a lot of plaster work. So my, my general impression is it's definitely doable, but it is all weekend work. Yep. There would be a lot of work involved for sure. Um, and we'd have to get another place to live. Yeah. Because yeah. we had to put in a kitchen and <laughs> fix the bathrooms. Right. But as soon as we get those in place, we could potentially move into it and then work yeah. on it there. Um, for me, I was blown away when I first walked in the doors and I saw that grand entryway with the 12 foot high ceilings, the long passageway and the stairs. Uh, that was it. I, I was done. So, <laughs> um, you so, are so I, I'm, I'm all in. I'm totally all in. <laughs> um, I don't see anything there that we can't overcome. It's just mortar, stone and wood, plaster. But there's so much of it to do, it would take a long time to finish it. Which is great because if you like to see these kinds of videos, We'll have enough material to keep you guys going for a couple of years, I'm thinking. <laughs> um, so as long as you stick with us, we'll just keep shoveling out uh, videos and show you what we're doing. Some of the things that need to be done here, uh, the kitchen doesn't exist. We need to build a kitchen. The two bathrooms are rough. We think they work. They probably do just fine, but they're really rough. And, you know, who wants to take a bath in a really icky bathroom? So. We would have to do some work there for sure. Plaster has some cracks in it. There's missing woodwork here and there that needs to be replicated and restored. Uh, maybe even unpainted and, and put to a natural finish, possibly. The electrical system looks like it was put in back in the early 60s. Definitely some room for improvement there. Uh, we didn't see any evidence of knob and tube, so that's a good thing. Plumbing. Who knows? I'm sure there's plumbing because there's no laundry room. Yeah, but who knows what shape it's in and who knows what kind of, <laughs> you know, piping it is. True. Hopefully it's not lead piping. If it is, it's out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, heat. The heat plant is still in place, it's still intact, but for some reason it doesn't work. And I, I feel that we could probably go in there and spend a couple hours on that and probably get the thing lit up and working again. Uh, the duct work is really my biggest concern there because who knows what's inside those ducts? <laughs> <laughs> so I think they would need to be uh, opened up and professionally cleaned. Windows, there's some broken windows here and there, uh, some missing panes. We'd have to fix those and get, get watertight. And the laundry. Yes. We can't clean our clothes if we don't have a laundry room. Okay, you guys. So tell us what you think. Do you love it or do you hate it? What should we do? Do we keep looking? Or do we look deeper into this one? Right. Let us know, and we'll see you on the next video.